Hello friends, this is ninth video of JavaScript tutorial and today in this video we will talk about event handlers. So what are event handlers? Event handlers are some kind of reaction which take place when a particular action is done on the web page. For example, if you click on a button on the web page, then something new happens. Then whatever new happens, that is called as an event. So these events are predefined in JavaScript and we will here learn that how we are going to use those predefined event handlers. Some other examples can be like uh, if you must have seen uh, on the e-commerce websites that uh, when you put your cursor on any of the picture then it gets zoomed in and when you take out of uh, take out that cursor from that picture then it gets zoom, zoomed out there are many other such examples which are there so we will talk about we cannot talk about all the event handlers but we will talk about some of the important hand event handlers and uh, with the help of uh, those event handlers uh, you will get to know that how we use all other event handlers also so let's talk about the first event handler. The first event handler is on click event handler. Now two things are there. Event handler can be inserted inside the HTML elements or you can also insert the event handler inside the scripts. Means that you can insert it here outside uh, here outside the script or you can insert it inside the script also here. Okay, so we will uh, talk about both the things means we will first of all talk about that how we can insert it here in HTML element and how we can insert it here in script. Okay, in both the cases they will do the same functions. First of all, let's see how we use on click event handler inside HTML element. So first of all, we will create HTML element. For this, I am going to create a button. And you must have seen that uh, most of uh, the time we use buttons when we submit any kind of form on a website. So if I am going to create a form on the website, then how will I create that form on the website? I will create the form like this. First of all, I'll write here form. Okay, and inside form, I will create this button okay so, uh, so how i will write i will write here input type is equal to button okay so input type is equal to button which will create a button for me okay and after that i will give a value to it and what this value will do this value will write something on that button for example start stop or something like that okay so here I can write anything uh, I can write here like submit okay uh, so I have uh, written I have created a button and on this button I have written submit now I want that something should happen when i click on this button okay for that i will use on click on click and after this inside those quotes i will write what action should it done okay so what what action should be done here is that i want a new small window should get pop up and a message must be written on it okay so what i will do is i will write here window dot alert and inside the bracket i will write with single quotes so here i will write thanks for submitting the form okay this is what i want to get pop up 
when I click on this button and after that let's see what happens here so I will save it and here you can see that submit button is here which I have just made and if I will click on this button then you can see here a small window has popped up and here the message has been written thanks for submitting the form okay so this is how I can uh, make it to do something when I click so this is an event which has taken place when I clicked on that button now you can add other things also which may take place for example on click not only one two things can also occur how two things can occur what you will have to do is here after this you can write something else also for example you want two alerts to be there okay and uh, here I'll write another one like window dot alert by okay so now here you can see that uh, after this semicolon I have written one more event that should take place when I clicked okay so in the similar way if you want multiple events to take place when you click then uh, after semicolon you can write those things also now I'll uh, save it here and I'll see what happens now so let's refresh it and after that you can see that uh, uh, when I click on submit the first thing thanks for submitting the form has happened I'll click on ok and after that you can see here bye okay so both the things have taken place one after the other when I click on submit button now I had told you that the same thing you can do when you insert the things inside the script so how the things can happen when I'll put the things inside the script for this what I'll have to do I had told you people in my previous videos also that uh, whenever I want to get access from the script from this area to the HTML then for that first of all I will have to create an ID for it okay so first of all I'll create an ID for it so ID let's uh, give an ID to it and I am giving it an ID as BTN okay I'm get, giving it an ID as BTN okay so this is the ID which I have given to it and from here I will get access to it with the help of I had told you in the previous videos I can I will give it as a name as where and uh, I I'll give any name uh, and I can give the same name or I can give different name also I'm giving a different name so that you may not get confused so but I can give the same name as BTN here also so I uh, let me give a name as BTON okay uh, and uh, this I will write as document I will get the access by document dot get element by ID and here I will write the ID that is BTN okay so this is how I will get the access to it now because I want the same thing to happen from the script so I will remove what I have written here okay because I want uh, to show you the alternative way of doing the same thing okay so I am remo removing it from here and here aha. so now I will use this variable here button dot on click is equal to function window dot alert and here I will write thanks for submitting the form okay and uh, if I want another window alert I'll write it down there window dot alert and here I'll write by and that's it so now you can see I'll save it 
and I'll go here, I'll refresh, and here when I'll click on submit, again it has given me the same window message. Thanks for submitting the form and okay, bye. Okay, so same thing has happened, same action has taken place, same events have taken place, but the way of writing is different. Once I had written it inside the HTML element and second time I had written it here inside the script. If you want something else to be happened, I want to take the user to any other web page. Okay, so after buy, I want window dot location, and here you will write any other web page address. For example, HTTP. So here now I'll save it and let's see what happens. So here I'll click on submit. It will say thanks for submitting the form. Okay, bye. And after that, when I'll click OK, then you can see that it has taken me to a new window to a new location which I have given the address. So I had given the address of google.com and here it has opened google.com for me okay so this is how you can give multiple act, uh, multiple events to happen to take place when you are clicking here on the button so this is how you can use this event handler you must have seen sometimes that when you fill a form on website then if you leave any particular field empty then a window pops up and gives you an alert that this field should not remain empty or you have to fill this field so how that type of message occurs so that type of message you can get by another event handler and that event handler is on blur and on blur is the event handler which gives an alert or which comes in action when you leave the focus from a particular thing for example if you are uh, if you are creating a field for names and if you are leaving it empty and you are switching over to the another field and uh, in this case what you are doing is you are leaving your focus from that field which is named as name and when you are leaving the focus from that so the event handler will start doing its work okay so you will understand it clearly when i'll write it here so let's make one field here i will write input input type is equal to text okay so type text is used when i want to uh, write something into a box inside a form so if I want it to give me a message then what I'll do is I will write here on blur window dot alert this field should not be empty okay so now you can see uh, let's let's make one more such box and uh, here input type is equal to text let me write here Okay, so now here I'll save it. So what's your name and where do you live? Okay, let me write one break here also. So here, what's your name? And now I will give focus to it. And after that, 
when I will leave my focus from it and I, I will click somewhere else even outside or on any other box then you can see that it has given me a message this field should not be empty okay so <clears throat> here whenever I I have clicked on it now I have my focus on this box okay or you can say I have my focus on this field but when I will leave this field and I will put my focus somewhere else and I am leaving my focus from this field as and it will give me alert at that time okay so this is uh, what uh, the event handler on blur does okay whenever you leave focus on that from that particular element this will get pop up but one problem here is that you can see uh, even when I am writing something on it, after that also it is giving me this message. So I want it not to do this. I want it to give me message only when I have not written anything here. Then only it will give some kind of sense. Okay. So uh, I want it to pop up this window alert only if this field I am leaving empty and focusing on something else okay so in that case what i will have to do is i will have to write the things in the script in the javascript i will have to write it so for this i will remove it from here i'm going to remove on blur from here and i will write it into the script so when i will write it into the script for that i should have an id for it is equal to let's give it a an ID as name now I will give a variable name here to get access to this field and uh, let's give it a name as NMP okay and uh, I'll write here document dot get element by ID and here the ID was name now here I will use it now so I will use functions here again and I want it to give me that alert message only if the field remains empty so I will have to use if here if statement also so for that how I will do it I will write it in the similar way as I have written this one okay so here I will write nme dot on blur on blur is equal to function and for this function what should happen if the value which is inside this nme the value inside it means nme dot value is equal to remaining empty in that case I should use what what should I do I should uh, means it should give an alert message window dot alert and that should be that it this field should not remain empty okay so if this thing is true means if this thing happens then only this message will get pop up if this thing does not happen then this message will not get pop up so here i will save it and when we will refresh this page now you can see that let's write anything here and after that i will leave my focus to something else and you can see that no message has popped up but if i will leave it empty i am leaving it empty and i am switching over to somewhere else so you can see that i it has given me a message that this field should not remain empty the opposite of on blur is on focus for example uh, if you want 
that whenever you click on it then it should give me some instruction for example that uh, if you want to give the instruction to the uh, the person who is filling the form that uh, your name must be written in cap capital letters only okay so before uh, before he writes his name you want him to uh, give this message so for that whenever he, he will click on it he is giving a focus to this field and whenever he is giving a focus to it at that time this message should pop up so for that we have another event handler and that is on focus so how we will use on focus here you can use on focus here in the similar way uh, here let's write another code and uh, you can write here same because we are using the same uh, field so nme dot on focus on focus is equal to function then what should be the function in that case when it is on focus on uh, so uh, it should give me a message that window dot alert and the alert must be that the name must be written in capital letters okay so this message should pop up whenever the focus is on this box so let's do this save it and uh, okay let's let's ref uh, refresh it and after this whenever now i i am putting my focus on this box and when I am putting my focus on this box, it is giving me a message that the name must be written in capital letters. Okay, so I will start writing the name. Okay, and after this, I will click to somewhere else and no message has popped up because it was not empty. So now you can see here that uh, so uh, when I am putting my focus here, first of all, it is giving me a message that the name must be written in capital letters. Okay, but if I am leaving it empty, and I am switching over somewhere else. If I am leaving my focus from it, then the second uh, event handler will come in action. And you can see here, if I am leaving it empty and I am switching over to somewhere else, then the field should not remain empty. So this message has popped up. So this is how these event handlers work. So, so far we have talked about the first event handler that was on click, the second was on blur and the third event handler was on focus there are many other event handlers and we will talk about some of them in the next video and in the next video i will give you the list of the event handlers which can be used by you yourself as we have used these event handlers so we will continue with the same topic in the next video also so have a nice day goodbye